Okay, let's get started. How about adding a slider image to your BizStack Pro website? Let's go to my computer and we'll get started right away. The first thing we're going to do is, of course, I've got a web page. I'm in the builder. Uh, I'm going to, I've just added this section on the top and I'm going to add a row. And it's going to be a one column row. And then I'm going to add an element. And all we need to do is scroll down until we get to the image slider element. All right, we're going to get to the image slider element. Now you can, since we're already highlighted, you can click on it and just let it go there, or you can drag it. I like to just click. Okay, so the optimal size for this image from all my research is 1080 by 500. And you can put as many pictures as you want on here. Typically, we would go with three to five images. So I've already got three images already set up that I'm going to go grab real quick, and we're going to add it into it. So right here on the right hand side, oh, let me turn on my mouse for you real quick. I'm sorry, hold on. All right, now you can see my mouse. Over on the right hand side where we're looking at our little control area, we're gonna click on slide one, and then we're gonna go down here and it's asking what image do we wanna use? Let's click on our icon here. I'm going to, I've already organized mine. I'm gonna go to Andy Delgado. And then I've got uh, tutorial images right here another folder and then finally I've got one called video slider all right now I have my images labeled one two three and that's the order I want them to go in so all you have to do is double click the image and boom it's automatically there so let's talk about some things that you can do with this image if somebody just clicks on the image it will take them to a URL if you choose if you don't have a URL there nothing's gonna happen it could be just an informative slider. In our case, um, to add an image, I, normally this would go to my tutorial page. I'm just going to leave it alone. Uh, you can make it open in a new tab or not. You can say leave it in current, whatever we want to do. So in this case, nothing's going to happen when they click this one. Slide two, though, I want to go back and let's get that image. And that's under Andy Delgado. And that's under tutorial images. And that's under video slider. And then slide two. Now I do want this, oops, double click. Now I do want this to actually go to that URL if somebody were to click it. So we're going to come over here and we're going to say andydelgado.com slash tutorials. Okay. Now these are just PNG images. You can't put a video on here, but you can put a GIF. Hold on just a minute. Let me show you that. Uh, tutorials and I'm just gonna let this open in the current tab now you can adjust the size any way you want to do um, and let me explain real quick that as it stands this does not look good in mobile you would have to format it to an area square right there in the center for it to show up right but I'm gonna show you how you can copy it and and hide the other one and make it good and so give me just a second let's go back to slide three and we're going to put our GIF in there because I decided that we needed to have a little bit of action, a little bit of motion. Motion draws your eye, that kind of thing. And it's not a whole bunch of motion, but I've got it here. So let's get it. All right. So um, video slider and then image three is a GIF. All right. Here we go. And that's all I've got. The little mouse is clicking. And of course, when you click that image, I'm going to want you to go to getbiztech.pro. So let's do that real quick. Get bizstack.pro oh, pro all right and i want i do want that to open in a new tab i don't want this to optimize the image in this case i want the video to be exactly like it is and of course if we wanted to add more images here for our video slider we would just click on add slide okay now you can there's not much you can do here you could change your height and your width if it were me i would adjust one or the other not both unless you know exactly what you want that to do. Uh, there's not much that you can do as far as dressing it up. If you wanted to put a border around that, you would have to do that at the column level, right? So you could adjust that. So we, we could make it a border. We could round the images. Anything we want to do, we would do it at the column level. So let's save this and go look at it real quick. I'm not worried about any of this. And we need to publish. Okay, let me give you an option here. If you want to publish it so you can click on this link to do it, do that. If you just want to preview it, after you save, click on the eyeball. All right. 
Now, this should rotate automatically about every four seconds, maybe five. Uh, there it goes. And then if I were to click on this, it would actually open it. You see down here at the bottom left, it showed it down there. Look again. See? All right. And then as long as you are on, just so you know, as long as your user is hovered over it, it's going to pause and stay there. And as soon as they move away, the countdown should continue, and it'll go on to the next slide. There we go. And you see my GIF is working fine. The image is clicking like it's supposed to be, giving them a hint to click this. And if I click it, it's going to move in a new tab like I told it to do. And it takes me to my GetBizStack.pro site. So let's go back and look and see what you should do if you want this. Oh, let me show it to you. In mobile, how bad it looks. I shouldn't say it looks bad, but... So in mobile, um, normally you would be looking at a, uh, we want this to go look, let's say you're looking at an iPhone. See the slider, it just doesn't look good here. And you can see, it, I mean, it's just a, it's funky. So we're gonna fix that. I don't like that. What I like to do in the case of a, an object that is just not doing what you wanna do in mobile, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clone this one, okay? And then this one I'm going to hide on mobile. All right. And on this one, after I modify it, I'm going to hide it on desktop. Now, most phones, if, you, if you'll get an idea, most phones, the width that you would want is going to be about 500. So we're going to change this and change the width. Oh, come here, you. 500 and make this zero. Hide it out. There we go. Now, as soon as it catches up to me, it's actually going to put that where we want it to go. Let's save it and test it. And we're leaving. We'll have both of them on there for now. Yeah. Okay. So it did not adjust it quite the way I want. It kept a full height. Let's go fix that. I taught you before to use the HD resolution calculator. So we're going to do 16 to 9 resolution calculator right here. And we know that we want the desired width to be 500. Um, I think I think actually 640 would be the best. So we'll say 640 and the height's going to be 360. We'll test that and see what it does. So width is 640 and the height is 360. 360, 640. All right. Now you can see it's dynamically resized it for us. It's a little bit skewed. It cut off the image a little bit. Let's go see what it looks like. We're gonna save it. And we're gonna preview it. Oh, that looks good. It cut off a little bit, so we could adjust the height down a little bit. But I think I'm gonna leave that alone. That's a good, good, good area for us to demonstrate with. Now, now that we have what we want, we can hide this one from the desktop. We don't need people seeing both of them, right? So we're gonna click on the bottom one, the second one, the one that we adjusted the size, and we're gonna come over here to advanced, and we're gonna hide it on desktop. Goodbye. Now we can save it, and you can look at it if you ever wanna know, uh-oh, I hit it on desktop, how do I get back to it? Click on your phone image up here at the top, and it shows you the one that's on, it shows you the one that's on a uh, phone and hides the one that's on the desktop, like it's supposed to. All right, let's come back up here and turn you back to where you're supposed to be. Now, we should be ready to go, so let's save it, and we're going to publish it. And then if we click on it here, it should go to it. This is the desktop version. The slider is going to go through all three slides. Perfect. Beautiful. Now, if we change it to a and we have to refresh since we changed it in midstream. There we go. There's our first one. There's our second one. Now this is also looking at as if it were an iPhone SE. If you go up to some of the newer ones, and of course it changes it, and then once you change your, your image up there, you'd wanna refresh again. There we go. Now, if you wanna get perfect, what you would need to do is find out what the resolution is on what the common, phone would be and then you would want to go no wider than that resolution so let's go just do some googling uh, what is the not resolution what are the 
dimensions of an iPhone 12. I guess there's an iPhone 12. Pixels, there we go. So if you're looking at it sideways, it's 2532 by 1170. Hmm. I bet you that's not going to be a good good one to do but we can say so the max height it's gonna be 1170 and we just tested that uh, with an iPhone 12 and I didn't like that so if we switch back to this guy and we change our resolution down here remember we're 360 by 640 um, let's change this down to 500 and find out what a resolution is on 500 if we did that so let's go back to 16 by 9 resolution calculator and our desired width is going to be 500. And it tells us the new height should be 281. Let's go try that. The height is going to be 281. And desired width is going to be 500. And hit tab to get out of there. Let's save it. And we're going to publish it. And then let's refresh and see what we get. Okay, it didn't make any changes. So this emulator just may not handle it for us uh, like we want it to be. And I'm sorry to say that. And refresh that one. Yeah, it's just not going to handle it. But I promise you, if you look at it on your phone, it makes a huge difference because I just did this for a customer. <laughs> All right, there you go. So I have shown you how to add a slider to your desktop. I'm sorry, to your uh, BizTac Pro website. And now you are ready to go. Don't go crazy with the number of slides. You can adjust how long a slide is going to go uh, advanced. Now you can adjust how long, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a slide is going to go before it goes to the next one. Um, there are some things that you can change here with your image and your sliding. So right here it says five seconds. There we go. And then pause on hover, the same thing that I just told you about. It's going to play a video, in this case a video slide. Oh, I'm sorry. It's going to rotate through the slides forever. So you're good to go. All right. Let's get out of here. Be blessed. I hope you had you found this useful. Please leave a comment. And if you're looking at this on my YouTube channel, please be sure to like and subscribe. And hit that bell so you get a notification. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.